Just hours after being released from prison, Mikhail Khodorkovsky is back in the lap of luxury. The former oil tycoon was one of Russia's richest men before being jailed a decade ago. But following his presidential pardon, he jumped on a private jet, flew to Berlin and is now in a five-star hotel. Uh, our correspondents are following the story in Russia and in Germany. So let's cross live now to Peter Oliver uh, and Lindsay France. Uh, first to you, Pete, who's in uh, Berlin. Uh, you're outside the five-star hotel where Khodorkovsky is believed to be staying right now. Who is picking up the bill for this extravagant first taste of freedom? Well, as it stands, we don't actually know who's paying the bill for the uh, the room in the Adelon Hotel, where we believe he's staying. He's staying here, where Mikhail Khodorkovsky spent his first night of freedom. Um, the most recent pictures of Mikhail Khodorkovsky appear to show him in a hotel room relaxing with a friend. Um, now, it's believed that that is a hotel room in the Adelon Hotel just behind me. Now, the reason that we don't exactly know if he's there for sure or not is because, well, if he is in the Adelon, it's a hotel that, prov that prides itself on its uh, its discretion. And it does have several entrances which you can't, uh, you can't see people coming and going. The reason we believe he's here is because Hans Dietrich Genscher, the former foreign minister of Germany who met Mr. Hodakovsky at the airport and gave him his, his uh, one year Schengen visa that allows him to, to be here in Germany. Um, well, he was seen leaving the front of the hotel to go and deliver an interview to German television later on um, on Friday evening. Now, he was with Mr. Hodakovsky, so we believe that uh, he must still be inside. Now, um, to touch on who Mr. Genscher is and what he's done as part of this, well, he is the former foreign minister of Germany. He was uh, the foreign minister in the, the 80s and 90s, and uh, he has been instrumental, it seems, in securing this deal that saw Mikhail Khodorkovsky leave prison in Russia and come here to Berlin. Uh, he sorted out the private jet on which Mr. Khodorkovsky flew. He also sorted out his visa, as I said. And uh, um, he, has been, he also delivered this interview to German television in which he said, speaking on behalf of Mr. Khodorkovsky, that he was grateful to the mercy of uh, pr Russian President Vladimir Putin for releasing, for pardoning um, uh, Mikhail Khodorkovsky on these humanitarian grounds, which saw him set free from jail. Now, um, in terms of he was Russia's richest man, one of Russia's richest men in the past. We don't know anything about Khodorkovsky's current wealth. However, he clearly still has friends in very high places in order to allow him to travel in such a way and stay where he is. But if he does come out of here, we are expecting him to at some point in the, uh, the, the coming uh, hours, then we'll be bringing you it right here on RT. OK, thank you, Peter. Well, let's cross uh, live now to Lindsay France, who's in Moscow for us. And Lindsay, uh, Hordakovsky's family are expected, aren't they, to join him in Berlin shortly? Yes, indeed they are. In fact, uh, German media is reporting that Marina Khodorkovskaya uh, had been in Berlin, uh, which was a reason that Khodorkovsky had wanted to uh, fly there as soon as possible. In fact, she, is, as far as we know at this point, is still at her home just outside of Moscow. Uh, now, she had recently sought cancer treatment in Germany. And in fact, her failing health was one reason that President Putin cited in considering this clemency. Uh, now, we spoke with her earlier today about her travel plans. I don't know when or on which flight. I still don't have the tickets. I just got up. I hope we will all meet today. Now, uh, his daughter Anastasia uh, had also spoken to the media, expressing her surprise. She says, in the last uh, 10 years, I got used to living in a reality where my dad is in prison. To realize and accept that I'll be able to see him every day is unreal. So uh, the family, uh, including the son, who was uh, it just recently residing in New York, uh, the family is all sort of converging on Berlin on that hotel uh, where all the journalists are camped out. And in very rapid succession, uh, Russia's most famous former tycoon went from being in prison to being released, landing on German soil and facing his first family reunion in a decade. All right, thank you, uh, Lindsay. That's Lindsay France in Moscow though, and also uh, before that, it was Peter Oliver in Berlin. Thank you to you both. 
Well, Mikhail Hordakovsky said he was hoping to be able to spend the Christmas holidays with his whole family, but political commentator Eric Magalas believes in terms of his plans for the future, it will be hard for him to launch a political career. One wonders he might be a little chastened now and bite his lip and uh, not start advancing his political career for a while. But it'll be awfully tempting after 10 years in prison. Will he be a Mandela or will he turn out and really start blasting the Kremlin? And Mr. Korzakovsky was is, is an attractive and brilliant man, but uh, he, he really did not, not arouse any sympathy, I don't think, in Russia, certainly not in the West. Uh, no, none of them saw him really as a martyr. Uh, there was little uh, love lost on the Russian oligarchs. Most people felt they should have been in jail and had their money confiscated. So he's lucky, really, to have gotten away with some money and to avoid a longer jail sentence. Well, the pardon to Hudakovsky states the decision was guided by the principles of humanity. However, there has been much speculation in the Western media that the release was an attempt to boost Russia's image ahead of the Winter Olympics in Sochi. But legal expert and blogger Alexander McCordis believes it was first and foremost because of Hudakovsky's plea for clemency. I don't think it's got anything to do with Sochi. Uh, nobody was going to stay away from Sochi because of Mr. Hodakovsky being in prison. I think the first point to make is that he is guilty. And I, I, I want to say that because um, there's constant attempts to say that he was a political prisoner. Um, there's been six or seven decisions by the European Court of Human Rights. I, I, I've lost count how many there are which has said unequivocally that Mr. Hodakovsky is guilty of massive tax evasion on, on a simply enormous scale. Now, he has been punished. He's been in prison for that for 10 years. What, what has changed the situation and has led to his release is that Mr. Hodakovsky did what he had previously consistently said he would not do, and that is that he wrote a letter to Mr. Putin asking for a pardon. So I don't personally see that there's any compelling reason to keep him in prison longer.